Hi, Kalpunna Pisa here. The more one knows, the more difficult it is for people to lie to you. Here are the facts. The Jesus Christ character in history is mentioned for the first time in the writings of Flavius Josephus. First time in history. There is no evidence historical that he, that of Christianity or the miracles or apostles or anything like that. So there is no evidence. Zero. Another thing that is important that a lot of people don't realize is the name Christ or Christus. The name Christ or Christus means anointed Savior or Moshiach. The only person 2,000 years ago and is written in history and Roman accounts, the only person that actually has that title of a Christ is the son of Venus, Julius Caesar. He was a Christus. These are the facts. He is believed to have resurrected. There are temples, there are epigraphy that proves that, that everybody believed that he resurrected. That you can see everywhere. Temples all over the place with epigraphy. But the Jesus Christ, zero. Zero evidence of a Mary, a Mary Magdalene, and the whole Christian crap. Zero. Crucifixion, zero. There is no evidence that Romans crucify people because there is a, a mistaken translation. You can see all the Roman epigraphy, and there is zero evidence that Romans use. Because you put in somebody on a cross, which is a symbol of the sun, represents divinity. And you, you, when you want to punish somebody, you put them on the ground with time with ropes or cut their head off and put them on pikes. That's Roman uh, uh, punishment. When people are ignorant of history, uneducated, believe in superstitious, the brains malfunction, they are retarded, then, of course, you accept all those myths to be reality without checking them out. It's like believing that, uh, that uh, Winnie the Pooh is real or the Tooth Fairy is real. And then the only excuse you can have is that you're a child. If you're an adult and you believe in that, you're retarded. So Christians have been fooled for 1500 years because they're stupid and ignorant. And uh, they have been fooled in Jerusalem all the time with fakes, like this tomb of Jesus. <laughs> they deserve to be cut. I love it. Well, it's not just any Jesus. It's a forgery, Jesus retard. Joseph. It's a forgery, so retard. We had a stadium. Like the James Oswari. And we said, all the Jesuses, please rise. Yeah, the Jesus dynasty. Uh, You're an idiot. Uh, what, 5%? You're an ignorant retard. You probably suffer from Christ like Moses. Those of you who are standing, did what? you the name Joseph? Half would sit down. Oh. And then a mother named Mary. Oh, yeah, but sure. The key, I think, is stuff. You didn't know the meaning of names. Of brother in that tomb. His name is Joseph. Idiot. So who had a brother named Joseph? Suddenly you get down to just a couple of people who had all of that together. Do you know about forgeries? So it's This poor man is clueless. He doesn't know what forgeries are. Here, check this out. The box bearing the name Jesus, son of Joseph, was one of the smallest, tucked in the back of a chamber. Both name to read is not the original name on the Sashwari. Yeshua appears to be superinscribed over a... There you go, Christ iconic appeared Cameron. That. It could it's be video. something like Yudan, Hanun, or a number of possibilities. Inscribed very crudely and incorporates some of the underlying inscription. Could this have an innocent explanation? 
Or has the name Jesus been carved later as a deliberate deception? That's right. They by really adding a few extra strokes, sure. then using mud to make them look older. Yep. <laughs> Typical. Yep. The guy's pretty smart. Yuval Garen has checked scores of items that museums and collectors have acquired on the market. He's concluded that almost all of them are fake. See that? <laughs> there you go, Chris Jensen. believe there's only one answer to this problem. The antiquity trade should be shut down, yeah. and its products should be shunned. There you go, Chris must come. People of faith are retarded, and they need imaginary friends. And the clever forgers are providing all their needs. Residence of the names, however striking, fails to impress specialists in this period of history. That's right. In the time of Jesus. That's right. It's also probably the that we know about Jesus. You see the star of David on the left? The little star, the coming of Caesar? Right on the left. What's that? Right there. The amazing thing is when they talk about Jesus, they ignore the truth. The Roman Empire, the religion of the Roman Empire. And about Julius Caesar, they were sacred. All the uh, some of the senators were sacred. They were priests and all. All that is ignored. And they come around with the with the Jesus Christ bullshit. They ignore Roman history. The scholars are idiots. They ignore all the facts of Roman history, the Roman religion. Jerusalem was a Roman Roman city. <laughs> they ignore all that. Shimon Gibson doesn't believe the tomb contains the remains of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Smart being the remains of a crucified man in the Talpiot tomb, the anthropologists who opened the ossuaries when they reached the Rockefeller Museum, since there had already been a discovery but in the late 1960s of a crucified man in Givat Miftar, which is on the north side of Jerusalem. No. There is absolutely zero evidence Romans crucified people. Nothing. It's all mistakes in the in the epigraphy and I mean mistakes in the uh, in the translation of books and everything because it was crucified. It's like I'm going to stick it to you. What does it mean? It means I'm going to take a rope or I'm going to, I'm going to screw you. What am I going to do when I just stick it to you? If I said, "Oh, I'm going to see a man about a horse and then I'm going to catch some seas," what does it mean? Five hundred years ago, they see a note that says that. That means that I'm. I'm going to uh, go uh, see a man about horses, probably buy a zebra because, uh, you know, I'm going to catch some zebras, some Zs. No evidence, one little bone. And they assume that a man was crucified because it's a, it's a nail through, the, uh, through, <laughs> through, a, through a bone. Idiots. A little bone. Recognize the signs. What's that? In the other two, Only one. find this remarkable one. heel bone. One large nail driven through it. That means nothing. If a crucified man was buried at Talpiot, similar signs would be it's hard. Nothing. It's the only evidence of supposedly of crucifixion. There's no evidence here. In ancient Rome, since Julius Caesar, the heroes, the gods, especially the Roman emperors like the sacrifice Julius Caesar, were displayed in mannequins on crosses. Crosses, which is called tropa eum, and they were nailed. The mannequins were nailed to that. That's what they got the stupid crucifixion nonsense from, here. The spirit of the god Caesar nailed to a cross with the vanquish on at his Here is the spirit of Julius Christ attached to a cross with nails. Notice the subjugated uh, slaves and criminals on the bottom on ropes. And the spirit of Caesar, represented by an empty armor, is always accompanied Winged by an angel figures victory representing symbol. victory. So they're always using tropions. That's where the angels come from in Christian mythology. And these stupid scholars, they cannot get it through their head. There was no crucifixion. It's a mistranslation, misinterpretation of the word. Now, look at the copies in the Christian bullshit and nonsense. The retarded Catholic Church 1500 years ago adopted all those symbols because they couldn't translate anything. Uh, they were so stupid and ignorant. Look at all the symbols. They are right there. A cross, which is uh, nothing but a symbol of victory, a tropaeum. So, epigraphy shows the gods, like Julius Caesar, were represented on crosses on top, the mannequins. And, of course, they do resurrect it. It's on coins. Check this out. Here is the Holy Father, Julius Caesar Christ, after his sacrifice, resurrecting, going to heaven from the flames, guided by an angel, Septimius Severus, also with his wife. 
going to heaven. And here he is, guided by angels to heaven. It's obvious right here, it's there. Images, epigraphy, speak louder than the written Roman history. There it is. Pacha de Orum.